Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender in Europe, game designed by Salvador Travasta, published at GMT Games. We are uh, continuing on in the uh, CUCU campaign, CUCU. Stands for Cripple UK Collapse the USSR. Uh, my opponent has done his crippling of the UK, and he's on his way to collapsing the USSR. We are going into uh, the August 1944 turn. We did play both of these turns back to back, so there wasn't a break where we could actually figure out what was the best thing we should do. So, um, but I just didn't want to have an hour-long video of clear weather turns, so I broke it into two. So we will move forward here. Uh, I don't think there's any declarations of war. We go into economy. Germany's at max 28. Doesn't give any to its allies. The British are at 8. And the Russians are at 22 because he did not take some of the factories yet. Um, and now we go on to strategic warfare phase versus the Soviets. Um, it's a plus 3 to a plus 3, and neither one of us have anything to play. So it's just whatever we roll. He rolled a 3 plus 3 is a 6. I rolled a 5 plus 3 is an 8, so nothing happened. Uh, and then he's plus 6 to my 0, and I don't bother to play the the Ultra because it won't help me. And he rolls a 10, so it was a good thing I didn't. Because uh, even at a 5, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't get a factory back, and it doesn't give me a production point. And the Ultra, along with the Free Forces, does present a minor threat to an invasion either in Suez or Basra, so he has to keep those guys in supply. And, uh, I mean, it's the best I've got. I don't really have a lot. Uh, strategic warfare... Strategic movement. He takes the guy that was way down here. My Sarnati. And says, I'm going to go right there because you don't have a zone of control. And I'm like, you're right, I don't. And there you go. He's now adjacent to Leningrad. Uh, and I decided to get Gibraltar just out of Plymouth because I'm going to build the BEF there. That was my thought process. Uh, the Soviets... I don't think I had a strategic move for them. Got the marker off the guy in front of Volkov. Everybody's kind of in line. Uh, there's, for whatever reason, the stacking doesn't work here in Moscow with the fort. So, you know... I'm pretty much everywhere I need to be, as best I can be. I don't have a lot of units to defend with, unfortunately. Because I am I have an extra guy up here in Vyborg and an extra guy containing this panzer down on the Turkish border. So he's he spent a panzer and a German infantry, but he's thinned my line enough that I think he just rolls, rolls through me here. Um, so here... That was us trying to figure out why the thing wasn't stacking. Uh, I think he's at going after Riga. So I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and throw a tanks here. I think it's worthwhile to make him. He rolls an 8. I rolled a 6. So I held for a turn. And then the next time he comes around, he just goes ahead and says, nope, I'm not going to use an airplane. So he was a plus 3, and he rolled a 6 instead of a 5. So a 9 and a 3 is a DD. So I'm actually... Wasted that for no good reason. It was some will, it was a factory. And then he tried to move all the way back there, and I went, that was three, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's like, no, no, I'm not going to take the hex. And I'm like, well, then that, you can't have a control marker there yet. And then he immediately um, had this guy run, thinking he had control, and I said, that doesn't count out right. And so we counted it out, and it's like, no, he ends up one, two, three, four, five, six. And then 7 8 takes Tallinn. Tallinn. So. Okay, so that was an Italian. This Italian runs up this German or Russian aircraft. Uh, later on in the game, we realize, I realized this. I didn't have a chance to point it out to him. This guy could have done one sortie there, making him be a 5. And he could have done one sortie there, making him be a five, and then he could just run through and run them off without having to use any German sorties at all uh, up here in the north. But we didn't see that till much later in the turn. So here's this Yugoslav ran up and took Dupnostrik. So 
that's to allow him to run through. And then Romanian goes and says, stay in Sevastopol, dang it. And then this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attacking behind Kharkov. Starts off at plus one to zero. I think he's going to throw his airplane in here. And he went all in, is what he said. I threw my tanks. He's going to throw his air, and he's going to throw a tanks marker. So he's plus five to my plus two. Rolled a one plus five is a six. I rolled a six plus two is an eight. So I held for one turn. And then he comes again at plus three to plus zero. I should be at zero. He rolled a one plus three is a four. I rolled a three. It's not plus two. I think I make a notation here. Yeah, it should be net three on so we arrival. But if I uh, his four to my three, I still held. <clears throat> so he was annoyed with that. And then now he's he goes running through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think he's attacking Kursk. Or no, he went. He went one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, attacking across the river. That's what he did. And by taking Karkov, he makes my airplane fly away, so I fly away. I was trying to see how far I could get, and I couldn't get much farther than that. Um, and then he's uh, a one to my zero. He, he rolls a six, plus one is a seven. I rolled a one, so not only I killed and flipped, uh, retreated and flipped, he takes not chooses not to take the hex with that guy. Because he's going to run one of these infantry units up here in a minute. He moves this guy up. Uh, he gets a... He's plus four to my minus two. So he gets a nine to my four. So I'm flipped. So I make him have to attack again. Moves the Yugoslav up there, moves that German unit there, and then has the Panzer come up and attack Kursk at uh, surrounded, so he's plus five to my zero. Rolls a nine to my two, so I'm dead. He takes the Kursk. Uh, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, then this infantry unit has just enough movement points to get there, and he attacks at plus two to my minus two. He rolled a three plus two is a five, so I'm going to live, and I get to retreat. He goes ahead and takes the hex. Now I think he's going to move north. Yeah, this armored unit runs all the way through Velalukis. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. So we attack at nine. Um, the airplane was allowed to fly up there because it can trace to this rail line and back out through Velaluki and then northward and then back down and just convoluted supply line, but it is there. Uh, so he's at zero. He's plus four net. He's four for the armor, two for the airplane, minus two. River in a city. He rolled a one, plus four is a five, and I rolled a six, so I held the city. And this is where I was showing him that he could have actually gone up and taken out that airplane. He's trying to figure out what to do about that airplane. Uh, I think he decides to go ahead and take it on. Plus one to minus four. Rolls a six plus one, so he got it. And then he says, okay, I'm not going to run over it. I'm just going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Takes that city. Seven. Moves Bryansk up. Three, four, five, six, seven. So, do you know you could move one more out of space if you want? He says, Yeah, I do. And then he moves up here to go ahead and try and take on Viborg. He thought about making an assault and then decided that he didn't want to use the fin. Started off thinking he was going to do that and said, No, wait a minute, I don't want to spend the fin. I'm just going to go at you with the German. And he rolled a five plus one is a six, and I only rolled a three. So, he pushed me out, took Viborg. It's a city in a factory. And then he moves the fin there to keep me from being able to retreat. So, And then he goes ahead and attacks. Because he's got me isolated. So he's a net plus one. He rolls a four. Three plus one. I roll another one. So 
Uh, oops, I got flipped. So it looks like an easy kill for him next turn. Then he attacks again, you know, because it was only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He attacks again, hoping to get the kill, rolls a 1. So I managed to stay alive for a turn. Uh, I think this is Germans just moving up to get in my face. This German Panzer moves up to get in my face. I think he attacks me. Yeah, he gets a 7, I get a 4, so I'm forced to retreat. I wasn't sure if I wanted to retreat in the city or to the forest next to it. I couldn't make up my mind. I decided to go into the city because I don't really have a lot of guys to build anymore. And I think now it's just bringing up Italians to try and kind of hold up its supply lines. And then it's German. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just getting them up to the front. And then we did a count here. So that's two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So he's down to 10 again. And we don't have that right. Yeah, so he's down to 10. Uh, and the Italians are down to 9. The Finns are down to 0. So I think he's, I don't know what he's moving here. I think he thought about it and said, you know, I think I'm not going to... He was thinking of moving like two or three guys, and he says, I think I'm just going to keep the point. I think he moved one guy somewhere, and he just kept himself at nine. So... Did he move the guy? I don't know what he moved. He moved a German somewhere. Oh, we forgot to count. No, I don't know what, what we did. But he chose not to go. He thought about taking the Panzer on again. And he said, you know, I think I'm just going to make all my my airplanes go to zero because then in September it'll have, it'll have an airplane at two, an airplane at zero in the north. And, you know, this airplane will only be at two, but it, it's already out of range of being able to actually run and kill anything. But this airplane up here could possibly, this airplane here could, like, fly down to Kursk. <coughs> and help him take this stuff out. So um, he decides to go for stuff. He supplies everybody. And then we're at the West just actually does absolutely nothing because I don't have anything I can actually do at this point. Uh, so now we're into the USSR. Uh, what did I do here? I had to think about this for a while, and I said, you know, I'm attacking here. He goes, huh? I said, well, I'm minus two, minus three because I'm attacking in a city, and you're plus two. So I am trying to get myself killed because then I don't lose a will point for it. He's like, oh, crap, that's right. So I attacked. So minus three to plus two. And I rolled a six. Not a six. No, not a six. So if you look at the combat results table, a six minus three is a three. I need him to roll a six to knock me out. And he does. So I lose the army, but I don't lose the will point. Um, I was going to lose him anyway, and it was better to not lose the will point for him. Every little will point helps. Uh, so this guy... Trying to think of where I think I put him there. This guy goes into Rostov. This guy goes there. This guy goes back there. The guy in Moscow comes out and goes there. And I think I'm pretty much done. Trying to figure out where I, this is me counting to see how far can he run. If he pushes one of my guys away, how can he get and walk into Stalingrad? And the answer was no, he could not. He could get. Adjacent to it with like seven or nine points. So then I went ahead and spent this point here to try and do what he suggested last turn. So it's a minus one to minus two, just trying to 
you know, push him a couple hexes. I did my part, rolled a 5 minus 1 is a 4, he rolled 6 minus 2 is a 4. So we did it again, and uh, I rolled a 6 minus 1 is a 5, and he rolled a 6 minus 2 is a 4. So a whole lot of 6s and 5s here. It's like out of three sets of die rolls, we had... Uh, out of six die rolls, we had five sixes and a five. <laughs> so I was like, oh boy, that was terrible to say the least. So um, I think I'm done here. Uh, there's a no supply phase. Um, this is a mistake on my part again. I took that guy off. I didn't make him go to low supply. If I'd have left him there, he still would have been screwing up his supply lines and strategic movements and stuff. And I'm not going to be able to afford to buy him next turn anyway. So it was six one half dozen gather, I guess. Uh, we're in replacements. So he's bringing down all of his airplanes. The Italians bring down their airplane and their convoys. Uh, then we go into the west. And I... What did I do with the last? Took him down to zero and him down to zero for six. And I'm going to build the BEF with my last two. Uh, and then the Soviets uh, bring down their airplanes, of course, for six. And flip over the one guy for seven. And that leaves me with, you know, enough points to build, guys. Um, if this airplane had been in supply, I would have been able to bring it down too. But it didn't work out that way. Uh... No upgrades. Mobilization for the Axis didn't have anything. The West went ahead and built the BEF at Plymouth. And then the Soviets build their armies. They put one in Moscow, one there, one in Tula, one in Kalinin, Rezev. I thought about it, thought about it, and I said, you know something? There's a very... I decided I wanted to die to the south. Instead of putting one in Colin and Anrezev, I looked down here and I said, oh my god, the Romanians can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and be still in supply. They can end here, have captured this city, cheap two points, had to put somebody there so that at least he has to roll dice if he wants to try and do that. Uh, just can't give him cities. So the north is bare. Like he can bust through here and go running in here, but it's hard to supply this way. He has to he has to trace back to to here. So the idea here is hopefully I can slow him down enough that he can't quite reach Kalinin, or if he does cal reach Kalinin, uh, you know, maybe he's on a tenuous supply line and we get bad weather and try and make his life miserable. Uh, we'll see how well that works. Victory check, and now we're into the. Uh, Doing the end of turn stuff. Uh, so I get guys into my dead box. I get my tanks back. And I get a Ural's factory. Oop, I need back. So I get a Ural's factory. That moves out to November. And I get a factory on my factory count. So I'm up to two Ural's. Which is not really a lot. But I have six, seven, eight. So I'll have 16 next turn, but I have a feeling I'm going to lose some, lose too much to be able to actually do anything with this. Because uh, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, possibly 9, and 6 on the board would be 15, and I'm only going to have 16. So probably not going to be able to build that airplane, depending on how badly he mauls me. Uh, German tanks get there, get, you know, they get all their stuff back. They still haven't used their surprise attack marker, they still have their airdrop marker, so... And we move into September. So... And that's it. We're done. So, that was August of 1941. Um, the Germans have now, I think I should be down to... 51. They've captured 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
eight and nine. They've captured eight and nine. No, eight. They've captured nine and nine. So they have 18 cities. So I lost count somewhere when I was keeping track over here on the side. 18 cities, and he's taken six, seven, eight factories. Um, but 18 cities is 36, and 10 dead units is 46. Right? And I should be... I'm um, too high. I think we missed some cities somewhere along the line. So he's got those nine. That's 18. And he's got the front ten. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. He's taken 18. Uh, 18 cities is 36 minus 10. 36, 46. From 97, I should be at 51, not at 57. I'm pretty sure I have that wrong. I will double check. But I'm pretty sure that I should be at 51, not 57. I will count again offline. But anyway, I'm very low. Um, he's probably going to get... I'm th I see at least three, maybe four cities, and probably four or five armies. So that's another nine. So I'll be down close to 40. Um, Germans want to go into 42 with the Russians somewhere in the 30 range. And they're pretty much can guarantee that they will be able to collapse the Russians. Uh, or it will come down to a one or two point thing in December and November of 42. Okay, so that was, like I said, that was August or August of 1941. Um, as always, I'm Dren608. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the like button so the algorithms and YouTube will keep this up for other people to find when they come looking for it. And until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.